when you are building a website and have a collection of items like names or pictures to display, ng4 in Angular is a real lifesaver. Imagine having to write code for each item individually. It would take forever. But with ng4, you don't have to because it automatically takes care of displaying all these items for you neatly and efficiently. Whether you have a handful or hundreds of items, ng4 turns your list in the code into a beautifully organized dynamic part of your website, saving you a lot of time and effort. It is like a loop that iterates over a collection of data and create respective HTML templates dynamically. So let's see ng4 in action. Suppose we have an array of items, let's say list of programming languages. Let's declare this array in our component file as languages equal Angular, Python, JavaScript, and C Sharp. Now, in our template, we want to display each of these languages in an unordered list. Here's how you can do it using ng4. We write ul tag, then li, and then the syntax for ng4 that is asterisk ng4 equal let language of languages and then string interpolation for language li closed ul closed so what we are doing here is instructing angular to iterate over each element in the languages array and this let language part is actually holding the current array item so let's save this and here we have a neatly organized list of languages all displayed with such minimal code. Now, one of the powerful aspects of ng4 is its dynamic nature, which means if our language's array changes, the list in the DOM updates automatically. Let's demonstrate this. Let's go back to our component file and add another language to this language's array. I'm gonna add React and save. The list in our template instantly reflects this addition without any extra effort. So this is the power of ng4. And now let's say our data is a bit more complex with each language represented as an object in an array. For example, we might have an array of language objects in our component like language with its respective year. So let's create an array of object for each language like languages info, name angular, year, 2016 then let's add python 1991 let's have another item javascript and 1995 so now in our template let's iterate over this array of objects so let's reuse this code and modify it a little language of languages info this time then language name and then released in and language year and hit save this way we created a detailed dynamic list with minimal code showing both the name and the year of each language and guys, Angular's ng4 also provides several useful variables that can be used within the loop to gain more control and flexibility over the iterations. Like if you want to display the current loop index of the item in your collection, you can add a semicolon here and then write let i equals index and then print i here. And this is how you will get the index of the current item like this. Similarly, if you want to know if the current item is the first item in the array, you can write let is first equals first, which is a local variable and print it as well is first. And guys, using the same syntax, you can also know if the current item is the last item or if the current item in your list is odd or if it is an even item. Let me copy this again and show it all. 
I'll make it last this time and paste it again make it odd this time and for even even here and here and print all of these here in our list here's how you can use these variables since this is the first item it's giving true here rest all are false and this one is the last so this is true this time and then this is an odd item so this is true and since this this is an even item so this and this are true so today we have seen how ng4 can powerfully render lists in angular making our applications dynamic and responsive to data changes it's a fundamental tool in every angular developers toolkit now for more complex scenarios especially when dealing with large lists or frequently changing items ng4 can become inefficient and slow down your application in our next part, we will delve into how and why this happens, along with a solution, using the trackbar function to optimize the performance of ng4. So guys, stay tuned for this insightful discussion. Until then, happy coding and thank you for watching.